I'm, I'm not dealing with a certified lover boy. I'm dealing with a certified narcissist, sociopathic, murderous, homosexual psychopath. <laughs> Good job. Welcome back to another reaction on this channel, man. Today we are in tune for another very interesting topic of conversation, okay? Now, I came across this very interesting video right here of apparently this woman coming out who claims to be either part of Drake's grooming staff or makeup stylist, something along those lines, but she's trying to expose him for having Illuminati ties. Now, Drake has always been suspected of having ties to either a satanic agenda or the Illuminati in general because of his high position in the music industry. A lot of people claim that he is a modern day gatekeeper. Now, if you guys don't know what a gatekeeper is, make sure you guys watch my video on P. Diddy. P. Diddy, Jay-Z, Birdman, all of these individuals are gatekeepers. People who allow or prevent people to become famous in the music industry. And that's what they say Drake's position is at this current moment. Now, there's a lot of speculation surrounding his name and there's not a lot of evidence to tie these claims against him, except for the most recent occurrence with him quote unquote, sacrificing XXX, all right? Now, I haven't dug too deep into Drake and I don't really know too many things to tie satanic or Illuminati connections to his name, but today we're about to hop into this video right here and apparently get some new found evidence, man. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe. But without further ado, let's hop right into this video, bro. I'm, I'm not dealing with a certified lover boy. I'm dealing with a certified narcissist, sociopathic, murderous, homosexual psychopath. Oh. Drake has once again found himself at the center of Illuminati conspiracy theories after his former makeup artist exposed him for selling his soul. Former the news artist. comes shortly after Kanye West also accused Drake of being under the control of Hollywood elites. And fans are now saying there is definitely some dark energy around Drake they can't really put a finger on. But what exactly did Drake's makeup artist expose him for? Is Drake really under Illuminati control? Be careful what you wish for. Remember before all of this, if you followed me, I was like, I want to play games with the worst kind of man. Drake has been drawing a lot of negative attention lately over his actions, and fans are saying that there is something demonic about the way Drake moves. See, Drake has never been a stranger to controversy. However, it looks like fans are now waking up to the fact that Drake's behavior is not just corny, but that it is downright dangerous. To give you one recent example, after Drake performed with Travis Scott at the Astro World Festival, when a crowd crush left 10 young people dead, Drake stayed completely silent on the tragedy for five whole days. Finally, after fans called him out, Drake shared an Instagram post claiming he didn't say anything because it took him a few days trying to wrap his mind around the tragedy. But for some reason, Drake later deleted this post and he never spoke about Astro World since. However, that's not even the worst part. It was later revealed on Saturday, November 6th, just one day after the Astro World tragedy, when many parents were still trying to find their kids and fearing the worst, Drake went to a private party at a strip club and reportedly blew $1 million on exotic dancers. But Drake didn't even come close to being canceled. In fact, his career continued to level up after yes, Astro bro. World. However, it wasn't just people on the internet who was saying that there's something dark and dangerous about Drake. Kanye West also previously accused Drake of threatening him and he later exposed multiple celebs of being controlled by Hollywood elites and sacrificing their loved ones for fame. Following Drake's highly publicized beef with Kanye and we all know Kanye West speaks his mind on certain things man. Let's continue. Friend and collaborative Pusha T. Kanye <laughs> took to Twitter to claim that Drake threatened him and his family. So Drake if anything happens to me or anyone from my family you are the first suspect Kanye tweeted. And what's interesting is that Kanye also brought up Drake's beef with the late XXX Tentacion and accused Drake of picking targets he thinks are easy. And get this, just three months after X was he reportedly shared an Instagram story that read, if anyone tries to kill me, it was Drake. I'm snitching right now. This story was recently brought up in X's trial That's by crazy, one of the bro. defense attorneys who claimed that no one ever properly investigated Drake's possible involvement in X's passing. And though the judge later ordered Drake to sit down for a deposition and answer questions about his beef with X, Drake somehow managed to get out of this and news recently broke that Drake won't be questioned after all. But as much as Drake has tried to avoid accountability for all these controversies, disturbing stories about his dark side or continue in my opinion he really sacrificed xxx bro i'm not gonna lie to you in my opinion he really did 
Hello. And the latest to speak out against him is makeup artist and social media influencer Olivia Song. Olivia recently went viral after sharing a series of Instagram stories claiming that Drake is part of the Illuminati and that he's coming after her for trying to expose him. Olivia, who claims to have several years of experience working as a makeup artist in the entertainment industry, recently announced that she's retiring from doing makeup because working with high profile clients made her realize that most of them didn't achieve success based on talent or hard work, but sold themselves and everyone they love away in the name of grief. <laughs> First Olivia 10 then experience. Another bro. story saying, yeah. F the Illuminati, they're all wet. I'm saying prayed up and prioritizing the health of mind, body, and soul. They better hope the sheep can continue to fund this corny sh because I know I won't. I have officially exited the matrix. See y'all on the bright side. However, a lot of fans then took to social media to say Olivia is either crazy or hot. But Olivia refused to back down and said she doesn't care what people have to say about her because she's too busy worrying about the peace and safety of herself and her son. The Illuminati is broadcasting satanic images, sounds, and visuals through culture's most impactful entertainers and through the biggest it's media hard. outlets, Olivia wrote. If my story didn't cause you to pick up your Bible, you're going to hell right now. But Olivia didn't stop there. When pressed to name the celebrities who are part of the Illuminati, Olivia named Drake and claimed he's the high roller she talked about in one of her previous stories. Before name dropping wow. Drake, Olivia said that high roller was the nickname of a famous man she met on the celeb dating app, Riot, and who took her on vacations every week and bought her designer bags. However, after Olivia witnessed some shady stuff about Drake, she decided to distance herself from him and that lifestyle and ended up blocking him on Instagram. Olivia went on to claim that Drake hired her for male grooming and she shared her old post with Drake's promo photo for his Knife Talk music video with the caption, male grooming by me on at Charlemagne Poppy for Knife Talk. You guys never wondered why Drake booked me for male grooming, Olivia said. I hadn't done a man's makeup in my 12 year career and he was a first last and now he's on trial for murder. What Olivia was referring to is the ongoing trial of XXX Tentacion. And while Drake crazy, is not actually bro. on trial, a lot of fans are convinced that Drake is implicated in X's passing. But then Olivia's Definitely. drama with Drake took another disturbing turn after Drake seemingly responded to her stories and shared a post denying he ever used the Riot dating app. Drake shared a photo of himself posing on a rooftop and wrote in the caption, why would I want somebody who be at the places I be? I know what TF goes on at these things. Please, my cup of tea probably in the house making herself a cup of tea. And God knows that dating profile life ain't for me. Like, what would my bio even be? And why would I give Raya bars for free? Fans were initially confused mm. by the cryptic post and they assumed Drake was dropping bars from an upcoming song. However, those who saw Olivia's post quickly put two and two together and accused Drake of sending subliminal shots at Olivia. Twitter account Got That Scoop shared a screenshot of Drake's post and wrote, Drake, are you seemingly responding to and subbing Olivia's song from her post from two days ago? And when fans brought this to Olivia's attention and warned her that Drake's post was directed at her, Olivia Olivia shared another story claiming that Drake is a narcissistic psychopath. Olivia also admitted she should have never gotten involved with Drake in the first place and called him the worst man on the planet. I'm Damn. dealing with a certified narcissist, sociopathic, murderous, homosexual psychopath. Wow. What you wish for. Remember <laughs> before all of this, if you followed me, I was like, I want to play games with the worst kind of man. Now, you already know that Drake That's fans crazy. are going after Olivia and calling her crazy. However, Olivia is not without her supporters, and a lot of people took to social media to defend her. And they're saying, it's funny how every time someone tries to expose the dark side of the entertainment industry, they're labeled as crazy. One fan commented, y'all talking bro. about she's having an episode, but Always, I read somewhere bro. that her drink was spiked. And didn't Kanye expose his handler threatening to keep him so medicated that playdates wouldn't be the same? Y'all put too much confidence in these celebrities, but they're human and powerful humans are sick. Every time somebody speaks out against the fact. weakness of this world, y'all call them crazy, another person wrote. Kanye wasn't crazy when he spoke out, and neither is this girl. But bro, how do y'all feel about this thing? It's just a fact, bro. Every single time Kanye West has ever come out, people have always tried to kind of discredit what he has to say. But yet and still, he has proof, text messages, receipts, and everything to back it up. But listen, man, I'm going to end this video right here. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.